right into it. We are discussing dividend reward, ensuring you are on the list. As we already know that dividends are proceeds that you get or the benefit that you get um, for being a shareholder, right? So you buy a particular share of a company, what you gain from that share for holding that share is um, either the price appreciation or the dividend that is being paid out to you as a shareholder, right? So there are two different um, investors when it comes to investing in equities, right? So some investor might buy a particular share of a company because of the price appreciation. They just want to make quick money in the market and check out. Well, some other want to hold the shares for a long period of time so that they can benefit from dividend, which is being paid out to you as a shareholder. Now, the interesting thing about this session is that, are you eligible? How are you, how do you, do you get your dividends? Are you, are you well positioned for dividends? That is all that we'll be discussing today. It may seem as though we have treated something like this, but this is on a different dimension. And I promise you that you are going to learn so much from this um, town hall meeting. Thank you very much once again. Uh, without wasting much of your time, I'll be introducing our first speaker. His name is Michelle Daniel. Michelle Daniel is a chartered stockbroker. He is experienced and he's been in this industry for five years. So you are sure you are the rest are sure that you are getting um, all that you need for this for today from the best. Hello, Michelle. I can see that you're on the call and you look really good. Kindly unmute and have the floor. Yes, thank you very much, Margaret. Please confirm you can hear me. Yes, I can hear you clearly. Okay, okay. Thank you very much for the introduction. And then once again, welcome all to the another exciting webinar today. And today we'll be discussing dividend rewards, ensuring you're on the list. And we'd love to have an exciting discussion or conversation uh, with you. And we appreciate your feedback. And this is in terms of sharing your experiences with us, as well as your questions. Uh, today, we will now with, uh, slightly focused on uh, those who are in the market for dividend rewards. So just like my colleague introduced uh, earlier, um, dividend are uh, rewards paid to shareholders for their investment in a company's equity. And in discussing dividends in general, um, there are some important points to note when buying stocks, especially for dividend Payment. We'll just be uh, discussing a few of them. One is uh, not all companies pay dividends. Yes, not all companies pay dividends. While some companies might choose to pay, you know, to reward their investors or shareholders um, with dividend payments, others might choose to reinvest their profit back into the business. And also know that it is not compulsory for companies to pay dividends. So why, when positioning yourself in the market for dividend payments? Please ensure you do your research to only invest in companies that pay dividends. The next we'll be discussing is that dividend payments can fluctuate. Um, let's say, for instance, you're buying or investing in a particular company uh, because of the on the premise that they have paid a certain amount of dividends in the last financial period. Please note that dividend payments can always fluctuate. And uh, this is mainly uh, due to the company's performance. A lot of other factors can affect, but mostly because of, or it's mostly due to company's performance. So while investing in companies um, that pay dividends regularly or investing in the market for dividend payments, please ensure you only invest in companies that have been proven to pay dividends over time. And also have in mind that dividend payments can uh, fluctuate. So it's important to put that into your own um, research uh, when investing. Uh, another point to note is that dividend payments are not the only way to make money in the stock market. Yes, you can make money in the stock market by trading gain, by buying and selling of these shares. You can also uh, make money by holding the stock for a while and benefiting from uh, price appreciation over time. And generally, it is important to also know, note or know the different forms of dividend payments. 
Now, for the sake of this webinar, we'll just be discussing um, a few of them. The first is a cash dividend. So this is most likely the, uh, the one we are all used to. Uh, cash dividends just uh, the payment of dividend in cash. And it's, it's here, the, the, the dividend, co companies choose to pay dividends in the form of cash. And I'm sure we all know this and it's what we're used to. The next is stock dividend. Uh, stock dividend, the stock dividend, companies they choose to pay dividends in form of extra shares rather than cash. While the next one we'll be discussing is uh, script dividend. So script dividend involves uh, when a company uh, offers its shareholders uh, the right to choose cash or to receive cash at a future date or earn additional shares. So it's important to note that when you're positioning for dividends, you should know these terms or forms of dividend payment. So when uh, companies announce or declare their form or mode of dividend payment, you're already apprised of the situation and you can advise yourself um, accordingly. Then the next two we'll be discussing is um, dividend eligibility and um, um, the, and dividend date to note, shareholder eligibility and dividend date to note. Now, this, um, this topic is very important when positioning yourself in the market for dividend payment. These dates are dates you should always have in mind because it could also affect um, you know, your research and your positioning for dividend payment. The first date here is the declaration date. So this is basically the date that a company announces uh, to pay dividend for a particular financial period. So at, at the point of this announcement, you're still safe to invest in the stock or buy the shares of the company in question. The next is the qualification date. Now, shareholders who, only shareholders who own shares as of this date will receive dividend. So if you buy shares and want to receive dividend uh, from the company, please ensure your shares, you own the shares at least three days before this date. So um, it takes a um, transaction for still working this group. Um, for shares to adequately settle in your account. We assure you you own these shares three days before this date to ensure you qualify for dividend payment. Closure date. Closure date is the date in which dividend amount is already uh, removed from the stock price of the company. It's also called the markdown date. Then the next is the payment date. Uh, this is the date that um, we, we all wait for the dividends and the date which dividends declared are paid directly to the bank account of shareholders qualified to receive such dividend. And it is important to note that dividends can only be paid directly to the shareholders' bank account. Yes, we might, we might receive the questions or inquiries um, uh, from investors requesting us to collect dividends on their behalf. This is to clarify that we cannot collect or receive dividends on your behalf. If you choose or want to reinvest your dividends, um, in other assets or investment, you would first receive your dividends directly to your bank account, after which you can transfer to us to invest on your behalf. Next, we'll be discussing is the corporate actions. Um, on your screen is a sample of um, what... Um, first, let me just say that if you're looking at getting information about a um, company's corporate action or to know dividend that has been declared so far, all these informations are in, on the are on the NGX website. So you can go to uh, the NGX website, the link can be on the screen. This link will also be shared in the chat box. So you can just visit the website at any time to you know confirm uh, the companies that pay dividends for that time. Please note also note that you can do this search as far as back as um, uh, the time period you're looking at to also know if you qualify or you are qualified for dividend payment. So on your screen is a sample of uh, uh, dividend that so far been declared in 2024. Yes, so um, this, the, it just shows companies listed, the dividend and the um, closure of registered date and also the payment date. Looking at the first company, which is CNI, is in question, you can see from your screen that um, so far they've not declared any dividend, but rather they issued uh, a bonus of um, two for every three minutes here. Yeah. The close of register um, of their register was on the 5th of January 2024, and they've not yet uh, declared any AGM date, and they have not paid uh, any dividend. For Vitaphone, Vitaphone had um, declared a dividend of 1,056 for their shareholders, and they've not issued any bonus. 
and the close of the original star was on the 13th of February 2024. And the EGM date also held at, uh, the, uh, on the 7th of March 2024. And the payment date for their dividend was on the 7th of March 2024. So if you're here in this uh, meeting today and you've not received dividends for Python, please ensure you reach out to the registrars for this form or to mandate your account for dividend payment. We will also be sharing the link in the chat box that will enable you to mandate your account. So these NIPs have come up with a platform that um, it's more like a do-it-yourself approach to enable you uh, to cut off the, you know, the excesses that come with um, reaching out to your broker and the registrar to pay your dividend. So you can now do it yourself. On the chat box or in the chat box is the link to do it yourself. Just click on the, on the link and um, follow the prompts, upload the necessary documents, your bank details and other required documents to enable the registrars pay you your outstanding dividends. Next, we'll be looking at a corporate a sample of a corporate action announcement. So this is more likely, um, this is how it looks like when companies uh, issue correspondences uh, with regards to corporate action. So on the screen is a sample of them, of, or it's, um, it, it contains details, but not limited to this. Uh, it contains details of the period in question, the proposed dividend of the company. In this case, it's African potential, uh, the proposed bonus, if any, uh, the closure of register dates, the qualification date, the payment date, uh, the date of the uh, AGM, even the registrar information. So if you need details on any corporate, um, corporate action for any company, please ensure you visit um, the NGS website to get this information. If you need further information, on it, please be sure to reach out to us and uh, we will gladly assist. So most importantly, another factor we'll be looking at um, are the factors affecting dividend payments. Factors affecting dividend payments. While positioning for, for uh, dividends in the stock market, it is important to you know, put some of these factors in place to also aid your research because some of these factors can affect your dividend payment or as well as your investment strategy. First, we'll be looking at the company's performance. This is a very, it's a very important Factor as the financial health of a company uh, can either affect the consistency and timeliness of dividend payment. Yes. So it is important to do your research on the company's performance in the financial period in question to confirm if they meet uh, your investment strategy or if it's possible for you to you know, position yourself for their dividend payment. Uh, another factor we'll be looking at is the economic condition. Uh, the performance of the economy at any point in time or in general can affect businesses, and this in turn can affect um, dividend payments. Most economies, most companies in an in a economic downturn might choose not to pay dividends because they do not make enough uh, to be shared. So while investing in stock uh, in companies that pay dividends, please be sure to you know, put in place or to also take into account the economic condition at that particular time. Other factors that um, can affect your dividend payments are, uh, but not limited to nation rate, liquidity, inflation, government policies, and even market conditions. So in summary, uh, as an investor positioning for dividend payments, it's important to know some of these uh, topics we so far discussed, uh, and as well as adequately uh, balance your portfolio, so as to earn or partake in profits from companies, especially in this uh, early season. Please, if you have further questions uh, or inquiries regarding company's performance and um, you know some of these factors that affect dividends, please be sure to reach out to us and we will further uh, educate or enlighten you. Thank you very much. Uh, Margaret, over to you. Thank you very much, Michelle. This is very, very impressive. This is a wonderful presentation. I was, I kept nodding all through and I kept taking notes because I there's so much to unra unravel in this presentation. And, you know, growing up, I like to tell stories. So growing up as a young investor out from uni, learning about shares and everything, I, I just used to buy shares randomly, right? I, I don't know, I don't care about the performance, I just buy shares. So I, I have come to realize that when it comes to investment and when it comes to investment in shares, you need to be particular. I like how you, you put together all the, the performance, you know, 
you need to know this that you're buying. So this also applies to our participants, fellow investors. You need to take your time to analyze the company that you're buying, especially if you are looking at dividends, if you're a kind of um, shareholder who wants to be earning dividends from your share, you need to understand most um, companies don't pay. Like Michelle had rightly said, most companies don't pay, most majors propose bonuses and all of that. This was quite educating. I'm sure we have taken one or two points from this presentation. Thank you once again, Michelle, Daniel. Um, right into it, we'll be introducing our next speaker, who will be telling strategies and how to maximize the returns which we get from our dividends. We are bringing on board um, Aniel Ojo. Aniel Ojo is um, an analyst with Afri Invest Securities Limited. Hello, Aniel. Please, I can see you on the call. Um, you can proceed. Thank you, Margaret. And welcome once again to our beautiful and handsome audience that are taking out their time to join this webinar. Well, I hope you've learned enough, a lot from the first speaker, Michelle. So without much ado, we are going to be discussing about the benefits of dividend. What do you gain from investing in yields, dividend yielding stocks? You don't just go into the market and purchase any stock. Depends on what your preference is anyways. But for the purpose of this, webinar, we want to educate you on what you gain or what you're going to gain when you invest in dividend yielding stocks. It can be a source of passive income. That's number one thing we tend to gain from investing in dividend yielding stock. What do you mean by passive income? Passive income in the, essence, in the essence that you don't get to receive dividend every month. It's not like your salary or your business where you do more, you can get profit every day. Mm -mm. It comes once in a year, twice in a year, as the case may be, depending on the stock you've actually purchased. Number two, you get to enjoy a portion of the company's earnings. Of course, that is the definition of dividend. As a shareholder of that company, that is your, it is more like what you gain from investing in any dividend yielding stock. The next thing on our list is source of finance for other investments. From your dividend, you can decide to venture into other businesses or other investments you want to, whatever it might be. You know what you have, you know what you have in mind, you know how you want to grow your portfolio, you know how to you want to generate income, more income for yourself, considering the kind of economy we are in. So whatever you're going to do, just be sure of what you want. If you want more advice, you can always reach out to your financial advisor. We are going to reach, um, definitely give you tips on how you can grow your portfolio if you do not have idea of what you want to do. The fourth thing we're going to be talking about is how you can invest once and profit twice. What do we mean by investing once and profit twice? This generally means that for stocks, or shares, as the case may be, that actually pays dividend three times or twice in a year. For example, Seplat. Seplat pays shares their dividend three times in a year. So you can imagine investing in Seplat and you're receiving, going to be receiving dividend three times a year. And aside that, once the price of that stock appreciates, you can tend to sell and make profits from it. For instance, now you're buying Seplat at the price of 13 naira, and probably in one time, say six months, as the case may be, depending on how their fundamentals are, you're getting like, you're going to see the stock probably fly up to 39 naira. So you can calculate the amount of profit you're going to make. You can sell up and get your profit and also pull it back into the um, stock market. So once you see the price has dropped, that is what you can. The next thing you're going to be discussing now, what are the advantages of investing in your dividend? Yes, we have benefits of the, in a, investing in dividend union stock, but then there are also advantages of putting back your dividend into it. You can decide to open an account, a separate bank account, that this is where I want all my dividends to be paid into, to monitor what you're actually getting. With that, you can also grow your portfolio. The first thing we're going to be talking about is how you can compound earnings, over, how you can compound earnings, which helps you to gain wealth over time. What do we mean by this? You can use it as your retirement plan for those that are clocking the age of 60. If you started investing from a very early age, it's you can imagine what your portfolio is going to be. And for you to actually have this much dividend, you have to be intentional about what you want your portfolio to look like. For instance, you can decide to be putting 1,000 naira, 2,000 naira every day from now. So when you get to the retirement age where you've gotten your pension, you're no longer receiving salary. If you're a public officer or you're working in a private firm, 
You can use that as your retirement plan. Enjoy yourself, travel over the world, take care of your grandchildren. Everything starts now. You need to be intentional about what you want to do. The second thing is accumulate shares at a discount. The first speaker, Michelle, has done just justice about this thing. What it definitely means is your, this particular point is talking about crib dividend, where you can, instead of getting cash for your dividend, the company decides to multiply your shares. Meaning, instead of you're going to receive 30,000 naira as a dividend, they give you the equivalent of what that 30,000 naira is going to be and multiply it for your portfolio. For instance, now, if you have 100 units of MTN shares, if you're going for the script dividend option, you're going to see a multiplied portfolio of probably 150 units, meaning 50,000 units. 50 units has been added to your existing shares. That's for those who opt for the option of script dividend. The third thing is it can serve as capital for venturing into small businesses. Like I earlier said, once you reinvest your dividend, you can use it to, to venture into small businesses. Stay at the comfort of your home, enjoy the pleasure of it. You can do whatever you want to do. You can also use it in paying your children's school fees. Yes, we have investors, we have clients that from the dividend they get, they use it in paying their children's school fees. They use it in traveling abroad. They use it in doing minor things that it is not from their salary, it is not from their business. This is because they're intentional about it. And everything starts from today. It starts from you being intentional about what you want to do. Last but not least, what we're going to be talking about is you can have the diversified portfolio by reinvesting your dividends. For instance, you've been investing in telecommunications, say MTN, Airtel, and the rest of it, and you've gotten dividends, which you know can amount to something very meaningful. You can decide to push your portfolios like you want to start investing in banking stocks, Zenit, Access Corp, Liberty Fed Bank, or the oil and gas, corn oil and the rest of it. That means you diversify the portfolio, not just focusing on the MTN the aspect of telecommunication. Or you can also invest in treasury bills. Yeah, this is also available on the app. Minimum investable amount for treasury bills is 100,000 Naira in the secondary market. If you grow your portfolio to the asset of getting 100,000 Naira, 200,000 Naira, yes, you can actually have multiple streams of income. You also get interest when you invest in treasury bills, and this interest can be taken upfront or can you can decide to invest your interest. You have the federal government savings bond option. This is for low income earners or Students, the federal government did it so it can also it can also motivate people that do not really have much to invest. It is open for any class of persons. The minimum investable amount is a five thousand naira with multiples of one thousand naira. What do we mean by multiples of one thousand naira? You cannot invest five thousand five hundred naira. No, it's not possible. It has to be five thousand naira and above, six thousand naira, ten thousand naira, as the case may be. It is always available first week of every month. For instance, now we're entering into April, you can decide to send on an email or anything, inquiry about it. We'll give you a breakdown on frequently asked questions about the um, about federal government savings bonds for you to understand how it actually works. And federal government savings bonds, let's not forget, you can also earn interest quarterly, three times a year. If you're going for the two years option, to the end of two years, you're going to be receiving your interest four times a year, times multiplied by two years. That's like you're receiving your um, interest eight times for the two years. So it is more like multiplying, having different portfolios. You're gaining from the stock market, which is your dividend. You also get um, gaining more from the federal government savings bond. You can also deal with the school bond. Minimum investable amount for the school bond is 10,000 Naira, also with the multiples of 1,000 Naira. And you can definitely send us an email or make inquiries about it. And we're going to give you everything you need to know about the school bond. It is usually available once in, um, once in a year. So we should be expecting the school bond offer to be opened by October. So by then, you've already made necessary plans. Keep your 10,000 naira ready, fund your account, and go for it. Pay interest payment on this is usually done semi-annually. What do we mean by semi-annually? It is paid twice a year. So for you to achieve all this, you need to be intentional about what you want to do. You need to have write out your financial goals. What have you planned out for yourself? I hope we've been able to convince and also educate you more on why you should reinvest your dividend and the, also the advantages and benefits you can derive from investing in dividend yielding stocks. You can check out our uh, corporate actions, which is set out on Mondays or our stock recommendations for further 
to boost your knowledge more. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoyed the section. Thank you, Margaret. Thank you very much, Daniel, for this detailed session. Dear investors, right, there's nothing as good as diversification when it comes to investment. There's nothing as good as having your dividend work for you. Right, look at all that has been broken down. You know, from I love um, um when she spoke about um FGN savings bond. The yield or the interest of that investment is very, very attractive, right? By first week of the month, as she mentioned, that offer is going to be open. You can enjoy coupon payments on that offer four times in a year, every quarter. It's, it's, it's amazing and it's very, very interesting for an investor, right? So these are all what your dividends can do for you. So if you have dividends that are just lying fallow or you, you don't know how to position yourself to invest in, in shares that can help you enjoy all of this, you need to start now. Thank you very much once again for that insightful session. Right now, we will bring in our colleague, um, Olada Yo Akin Folari on board. He'll be taking us through the tour on the Afri Investor 2.0 app. Afri Investor 2.0 app is a one-stop shop that allows you to take any investments into your hands. You can invest right at the comfort of your zone. Let me allow Dio to do justice on that. Hello, Dio. Hello, Margaret. Hi, Dio. Yeah. So thank welcome, you. Please. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. So thank you, Margaret, and good afternoon, our esteemed listeners. Thank you for staying with us. As it is in our custom in Africa Invest Securities Limited, we don't just hear your complaints and recommendations. We address them and seek out ways to bring investing to your fingertips. In our quest to simplify your investment, we've added some of our product offerings to the Afri Investor 2.0 hub. So when you log into your hub, at the, at the down bottom of the hub, you click on invest. When you click on invest, so for those who are just signing up on the Afri Investor 2.0 hub, you get to see the Nigerian stocks. The Afri Investor 2.0 hub has always been a, a, a one-stop shop to buy your stocks. So when you click on the Nigerian stocks, you get to see all the stocks listed on the exchange. You can use the find stocks icon to look for the stocks you are willing to buy, or you can just take a scroll down by scrolling to look for the stocks you are willing to buy. The second on the list is the treasury bills. The Treasury Beats is a federal government issued instrument. The minimum investment is 100,000 Naira and offers are available by 10 a.m. and it closes by 2.30 p.m. in the afternoon. So when you are investing, you click on the Treasury Bills, you look at the available offers, you, ent you enter the amount you are investing and you, and you would also indicate if you are investing your interest or if you are taking your interest upfront. The third on the list is the commercial paper. The commercial paper is also a discounted instrument. The minimum investment is 5 million Naira, and you can only find them on the hub when offers are available. So the next on the list is the AfriTrack. The AfriTrack enables you to track and recover your shares, reconcile multiple equities portfolio. So when you so when you click on the Afri track, you get to pay the required fees and we get a prompt at our hand. And with this prompt, we can, we can move on from there to recover your, your lost shares. So let me also retreat that we hear your complaints, we hear your recommendations, and we are hoping to also equipping the hub with more suggestions from you. So thank you for choosing us and have a great day, everyone. Thank you very much, Dio, for that lovely ride on the Afri Investor 2.0 app. Just to add, Afri Investor 2.0 is available on um, your Android, on your App Store, and also on the iOS Store. You can download it and then um, sign up. If you are not yet signed up to this app, you can sign up and take your investment decisions right about now. 
we will all the chats that we have we will respond to it accordingly and also our email address is brokerage team at afriinvest.com where you can also drop your um questions to our email and we will respond to you accordingly and just to finally add um we have added an office to us we now we are now present in kanu so if you are an investor in that um region you can also um check our office out and be uh, sure that we will have all hands there to serve you 